Okay, so what type of antenna connects to this? What up guys, Long 6 here, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys the different antenna connectors that come on the different hotspots. So I did a lot of research to bring this to you guys, so hopefully it is helpful. So basically, I added on to my spreadsheet here, which is not for public use yet. Uh, you can only see it through this video. And what it is, is Coco is licking me, and that's the whole video. No. All right, so right here, we got different antenna connectors right here for the different types of hotspots, okay? Um, uh, I'm still working on this spreadsheet, so this might not be up to date. Uh, most of it is up to date, actually. And anyways, uh, I got different supercharge options that I'll put in the description if you would like. And I'm going to make a video on how to do it here in a little bit, too, actually. So uh, basically, you'll see the different types of find your antenna right here. I don't know what the first 700 of the original hotspot had, but if you had the one of the first 700, you, you're probably good. All right. Uh, so basically, there are two types of connectors. There's RP dash sma and there is also just sma see there's sma and then rp dash sma okay so make sure you know the difference so basically if you look here at these uh hot spots here's the rack and the bobcat basically they are uh, a little bit different if you notice right here there's the pin goes in right there and here the pin goes out okay and then here the pin goes in the pin goes out so it's a little bit different all right so just follow this guide and you should be good we did add some colorblind assistance on there if you needed help as you can see the star the the, the cross and the asterisk the asterisk for the Nebra Outdoor Miner, this is a different connector because it's already ready for it to be supercharged. So, and it comes with a fiberglass antenna already. So uh, basically that's this one right here. And uh, here's another example. If the above one didn't make sense for you, here's it being full screened, woo hoo. And um, so you can pause the video if you need to. Basically, what we need to do now is figure out which antenna you actually need to use. So I went ahead and added the actual antenna here and I'll make a video later on how to supercharge it um, and if you need to buy extra parts. But basically, when you're buying these parts, these parts are already with the end type connector, these uh, fiberglass antennas here. So basically what you need to do, I think, is you're gonna have to listen to Coco bark in the background while I continue here. Buy an extension cable here for your SMA to your N type connector. So, link in the description for this one. Basically, it does uh, RP SMA to N type, uh, it's a jumper idea, and it'll be ready for these uh, antennas. And you'll have to buy one with the correct one if you have a a bobcat let me go ahead and find one so i can put it in the description for you so while searching around i found a good example for the bobcat right here so the sma with the rp will uh not have a uh, center and then uh it's still a male threading so i thought that was kind of cool okay so i finally found one for the bobcat see sma male to in male connector now you need to be careful when reading through these because if you just read it and not see the pictures you'll realize you're actually getting an rp dash sma instead of just an sma so confusing i wish they all just use the same thing so you can see here right there it has the pin this is normal sma exactly as described so link in the description for this one it comes in different sizes and uh obviously you don't have to use these ones i'm just doing the research for you guys so yeah, anyways, I wanted to share with you some other things you may want to consider when upgrading your antenna. So you may also want to get some of these, uh, basically uh, some cord management kit idea and they're, they're uh, pretty helpful. I've heard, I haven't used them yet. I think I may try to use them in the video I make when I do this personally. Another thing you may want to consider getting is an antenna pole here. So this will make it 
easier for it to bracket to the wall like you can see it on some of these pictures here because as you can see right here this is what it comes with it does come with this uh thing here uh, so that is a viable option and I'll be getting more details in a future video because as you can see here I just received a antenna myself and this is everything that it came with in the box. So cool You might also want to consider grounding your helium hotspot when you supercharge it So there's also that there'll be a link in the description to this video if that interests you and yeah link in the description for never supercharge hotspots if you would like their fiberglass hotspots um and i wanted to share with you guys that once a month i've been posting videos about how well my helium hotspots have been doing so subscribe and hit that bell for those and i'm also doing some helium staking some hopper staking with my avado and some other awesome things so definitely subscribe all right coco is back and by the way link in the description for the shirt i got it off of amazon actually anyways the next question you might logically have is okay so i got the type of connectors that i need to upgrade my antenna for my specific hotspot model now now what now which dbi do i choose so dbi will largely depend in your geographical location um as Coco licks my fingers and that typically what the hotspots give you is about a 2 dbi and that's pretty good for standards you can see as a 360 degrees for your hotspot so basically what happens when you scale up your dbi is you can see the uh area gets thinner but it doesn't go up and down as much so if you uh, link in the description for this article if you uh, look here you'll see that if you're on top of a house and then it, or actually like a skyscraper or on top of a mountain you're on mountain terrain or something like that i don't know and or way above sea level and what you're trying to do is if you have a 9 dbi and you're way up high you're not going to get any hotspot witnesses down below you but it will travel farther. So if you're in the plains, booyah, yeah, get a 9, 10 DBI antenna, go as far as you can, reach as far as you can, because it's all flat and you're gonna catch every single antenna uh, to witness it in a very long range radius. But if you're on top of a house and stuff, you're gonna need one that will go more vertical, not just a horizontal plane so definitely keep that in mind and anyways guys i hope you found this video helpful to figure out which type of connectors you need for your antenna what dbi means and subscribe and hit that bell because soon i will be posting a video about me doing this myself and as always guys stay safe stay active stay healthy and god bless peace good girl go, go. This video took too long to research.